I don't use the words the best very often. And as a matter of fact, if you Google, if it fits, it bakes and the best, what you'll find is my channel description saying that I'm not the best at anything, but this is the best chili. I start out with equal parts ground beef and chorizo. This is sausage that was in a case that I just took the casing off of, and we're just going to scramble this up and brown them. As that cooks, I'm also going to add one large chopped onion and let that cook. The chorizo here, in my opinion, is what is bringing an extra depth to this dish. Uh, if you don't like chorizo, obviously you can use some other kind of sausage, but just multiple layers of flavor is what we're going for here. While that continues to cook, I'm going to throw some beans and tomatoes in the crock pot. And apparently that's pretty controversial to say because there are people that don't think beans belong in chili. And if that's you, then you can go back to Texas or Cincinnati. What, what are you doing here? Anyway, continuing with my layers of flavor theme I've got going on here. Instead of just using diced tomatoes, I will throw in a can of Rotel. And then I use multiple kinds of beans. You can use pintos or kidneys or black beans that I use here. Just something to add some variety so that every bite is not just exactly the same. And your meat and onions should just about be finished. So we're going to go ahead and throw those in here. And then we're making our own taco seasoning because that's what we're doing instead of just buying a packet of taco seasoning. It's pretty simple. I just use a tablespoon of salt and garlic powder and a teaspoon of chili powder, black pepper, and ground cumin. For a little extra heat, I've got some homemade red pepper flakes that I'm mixing in as well. And because everything here is fully cooked, you can taste it to make sure that the seasoning is exactly where you want it. Now, onto the second part that makes this the best chili. Um, because of all the vegetables that I put in this, it does get a little liquidy. Like, you, nobody wants soupy chili. So, I'm making a roux here left from everything that was in the skillet from browning the meat. Uh, of course, I drained off a good bit of the grease but I just add flour to this and then you can take some beef broth or chicken broth, whatever you have, just enough to get it kind of loosened. Bring that up to a bowl and you're gonna get a really thick gravy base. And we're mixing that in with the chili. So we're adding a ton of flavor back that was left in the pan and we're adding a thickening agent that's gonna make this just perfect. Chef's kiss, whatever you wanna call it. Sorry if you've got celiac, but thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.